tractor trailer carrying explosive material crashed, closing both directions of U.S. Highway 64. WRL's Keenan Willard just finished speaking with a fire official moments ago. Keenan, what did you learn? Well, right now, the biggest focus out here is safety, and you can see that's why the command center here, about a mile away from that intersection of 64 and Atlantic, where the tractor trailer is turned over. You can see where they've really set up their post to uh, organize operations here, and this is why we're set so far back. Take a look at this picture taken by a drone from Edgecombe County. That's an 18-wheeler flipped over just off the side of the road that was carrying explosive material, according to NCDOT. You can see from this picture, it's leaking out diesel fuel, that reddish material spilling out from the side of the truck as after it just ran off the side of that turn there. NCDOT called this explosive material, but sources here on the, uh, the ground at the command center say this truck was carrying explosives to a rock quarry when it just took that turn too quickly and slid off of the side of the street. You can see it spilled over there. Right now, traffic shut down in both directions as they try to get this cleaned up. We know at this point this is going to be a multi-hour process. NCDOT and the uh, Rocky Mount Fire Department just told us it's probably going to be at least three hours before this area is cleared out. We've also just got confirmation they are evacuating a half mile radius around this wreck site. That includes people removed from their homes. Businesses have been evacuated. They are pushing everyone out from a half mile radius until this zone is cleaned out. Right now, the SBI is sending a team uh, to come in and lead this cleanup effort. And a private hazmat crew is going to be the one that's actually trying to do the environmental cleanup here. We did just get clarification from fire officials, though. That's diesel fuel that spilled out. The explosives are still inside of the truck. That does help them as they try to get this situation cleared up and get traffic back up and running. But as I said, it's going to be a multi-hour process. As soon as we get any more updates here on the ground, we'll relay those both on air and online. Jeff. All right, Keenan Willard live in Rocky Mount with that update. Keenan, thank you. As we check stocks here on